on that Ponder Park where people are stopping by to pay their respect and honor the victims from August 3rd. It's a time to reflect and a time to heal. On a day like today, an act of kindness may be all you need to help you get through. Today, I spent some time with the Brown family as they did 23 acts of kindness for the 23 victims. A hand-drawn heart covers a piece of the sidewalk at the Bartlett Assisted Living Center. It's here where the Brown family spent part of the anniversary of the Walmart shooting, creating pretty pictures and writing colorful words of encouragement for the residents. What color flowers are you going to draw? Yellow. Yellow? Why yellow? Um, sunflowers. This was the first on the list of 23 acts of kindness for Ethan, Amelie, Adele, and Evan Brown. 23 for each of the 23 lives lost that tragic day. We want to remind the, um, the Walmart shooting uh, victims, their families, that they're not forgotten. Get easy, stay safe. Next on the list, something kind for someone who doesn't have as much. They gave this man a bag full of water and food. I think it's they wonderful that, that, that people can come t t t together. Now to Albertsons, where the kids handed out bouquets of flowers to strangers and a card encouraging others to pass it forward. Never expecting this. I, I'm beyond words. I can't say anything. I'm just crying. I mean, so. Oh my gosh. The Browns also gave cookies to their neighbors, handed out Cokes to the police department, and left coins to fill up a tire. On a day of grief for many, this family spread love. It made me feel very joyful. There were some other El Pasoans today doing some acts of kindness of their own. The Sanchez family was at the Seattle Vista area handing out some flowers. I did speak with the Brown family a little bit before five and they told me they hadn't even made it halfway through the list They made them realize just how large of a number 23 actually is live at Ponder Park Shelby Montgomery ABC 7